This month of dieting the pale flowered kumaraha has seen me having some excellent experiences, synchronistic events which cannot just be passed as coincidental. In the prior days of beginning to diet this teacher plant, I put my back out. This is an event that I've experienced several times previously in my life. This time, however, I intuitively knew that it was from being out of alignment because throughout my body I felt unaligned, whether it was in my posture at work, in my bed at nights, or driving in the car. I blamed my shit bed. I blamed my work because I was on my feet all day. I blamed my stress levels because of issues that were happening around my family. And I thought to myself, it'll be all right. I'll pop a couple of anti-inflammatories and after some bed rest, my back will come back to being normal again. And yet I should have followed the rule. What do you resist persists. And of course, it is the shamanic way to be in harmony, meaning to be in alignment, balanced, yin-yang, including the physical body. What is quite ironic is that on the same day I took off work because of my back being out, I began watching the TV hit show The Sopranos. And in a following episode, one of the infamous characters, Pussy, becomes bedridden because of his back being out. And I remember thinking to myself, this is just a coincidence. But in the next episode, there is a conversation that goes on to suggest that Pussy's back pain is a physical manifestation of his subconscious feelings. This episode got me thinking. It got me remembering. So I pulled out my beloved Louise Hay book, You Can Heal Your Body. And sure enough, I found some pretty relevant information and diagnostic meanings of emotional underlying currents that may be needed that look deeper into my back being out. Louise Hay defines this as being, or feeling rather, emotionally unsupported, emotionally unloved. It is easy to see why repressed or suppressed emotions can affect our physical well-being, our mental, emotional, spiritual well-being even. It is so easy and out of habit we can sometimes go straight into blame. Blame for pains and aches. Blame someone else. Blame your work. Blame your situation or your environment. Two excellent books that I would highly recommend are Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and Feelings Buried Alive Never Die by Carol K. Truman. Most significant was the pull towards the harakiki or the native flax and the cabbage tree or spiritually named titahi which meant the lone cabbage tree, the tree which grows alone, it symbolizes a stoic independence and the native flax represented whānau as family and it's funny to note that I always felt alone. I always felt like the black sheep, especially amongst my family. And with this, I felt a Davic connection. I felt the Davic pull, the pull that was telling me that I wasn't alone. I was supported. The plants, the nature, it all is in support of me. As my rites of passage focused on acceptance, letting go of control, going with the flow. I could sense that this unloved feeling needed to be accepted. Instead of feeling sad or depressed or melancholy because I felt unloved or unfulfilled emotionally, I needed to go within and just be okay with myself, love myself, even in those bad moments.